Now here we have the GX Touch 70, a seven inch touch screen to control and monitor your Victron system. Uh, this is our main power flow page, just showing how the power is flowing through the system. So up here we have what our uh, MultiPlus is doing, which is it's inverting uh, with a, and currently using about 15 watts of AC power. Our batteries that are 100%, you can see our voltage and current down here. And uh, we can see that we currently have 177, 78 watts coming in from the solar. And we're using about 166 watts of power. So the system is pretty well balanced at this point. Um, our next page just gives us a bit more information. Um, this page here shows pretty much all the information. Um, so we have our AC and PV power. Uh, we have the power that we're using from the DC system. We've got our, our water tanks, which are all empty at the moment. And again, our battery percentage. Uh, and then here we just have a page which purely shows the water tanks. Now back on this page, we have a little bit of control. So uh, we can control the AC mode and the AC current limit. AC mode is basically controlling how the, the MultiPlus inverter charger functions. So we're currently in on mode. On mode is automatic. So we're currently inverting because we're off grid at the moment. And if we plug into mains power, it would automatically start charging the battery as well. Uh, and then we unplug from mains power, it automatically switches over and starts inverting. Uh, we could also be in charger only mode, which pretty much only functions when you're connected to mains power. So you're plugged into mains, you're still charging your battery, you're getting AC power passed through, but if you went off grid, then your inverter would switch off. Uh, inverter only doesn't have much function, and then off is just off. Um, it won't do anything in that mode. So uh, if you, you can leave it in on, and then it'll automatically do everything you want it to do. Here we have the AC current limit. It's currently set to 15 amps. That's just setting the limit of how much the inverter charger will pull from an AC source that is plugged into, be it a generator or a plug at a caravan park. So, you know, you might want to lower that if you're at a caravan park, because a lot of sites can only give about 10 amps or you could lower it even further if you're connected to a generator, like a two KVA generator, you might only want it down to about seven amps. That way the system won't overload whatever it's plugged into.